Hi, Micropunter here and I got a question and uh, this time it's about the choice of microscope objectives. Would it be worth swapping the 100 times oil objective, oil immersion objective, uh, with a 60 times magnifying dry objective? I've found the 100 times uh, oil objective can, can be used without oil, but only with a very minimal focus range, which is not good for me. Thank you for the question um, and uh, I will give you my honest opinion later. The, how would I say, the politically correct answer would be whether you should change your 100x oil objective with a 60 times non-oil objective really depends on which one you're going to be using more often. If you're using the 60 times dry objective more than of course um, I would change. Uh, that is the correct answer <laughs> or another thing would be depends on what you want to look at. Um, however, However, this is not a very helpful answer so I will tell you my personal opinion and then you can make of my opinion whatever you want. I myself have removed the 100 times oil objective and I have replaced it with a 60 times dry objective on this very microscope here. Um, here if you don't believe me of course you do believe me but uh, that is my 100 times magnifying um, oil objective which I think I have used only two times. I tried it out a few times but that was it. Um, it was actually more of a headache for me than the, the disadvantages were, were outweigh the advantages and the reason is, is the following that I did not need the magnification first of all and another thing is is that um once uh, the objective is covered in oil and the slide is covered in oil then it is very difficult I cannot move back to a lower magnification so that is uh, one of the problems because then there's the danger that oil is also going to go on the non non oil objectives and even if not then the oil kind of disturbs the image quality so you then have to continue to work with the oil objective so that's a disadvantage and I like changing the magnifications around a lot because I take a lot of pictures and the second disadvantage is, is I have a whole bunch of um, permanent slides and I do not want my permanent slides to be covered in oil because yeah I'll, they should be stored for a long time and if there is no oil on them I have to clean the permanent slides there is danger of oil going on the on the label on the sticker I don't want that either um, so in summary um, the oil ob immersion objective um, for me at least was more of a disadvantage than of an advantage and ever since I have a 60 times dry objective I'm using this uh, quite frequently and, and quite often so for me, for the way that I use my microscopes, it was definitely a big advantage, okay? Um, if you, um, another way of seeing the whole thing, if you are already asking this question of whether <clears throat> you should change uh, the objective around and get yourself a 60 or 63 times magnifying dry objective, if you're already asking this question, this could probably be already a sign that um, you are so general in your microscopy applications that you do not really have a need to use the 100 times oil objective. Um, so unless you want to specifically observe let's say bacteria which have been heat fixed on a slide or so on um, then unless you want to do that you don't really in many cases don't need an oil immersion objective I know that the, the term need is a little bit um, not uh, the right term to use maybe in, in the case of a hobby because who needs it anyway I mean we're doing this for fun most of the time <laughs> anyway but if your um, observation interests are so general that you are not required to use an oil immersion objective then I think uh, simply by asking this question I think that's already an indicator that you would probably be very satisfied with the 60 times or 63 times um, a dry objective now um, the thing in my case it was like this that uh, I cannot fit it on here because uh, my the, the nose piece does not only accept uh, five um, uh, objectives um, so there is not enough space and uh, for me the 40 times uh, magnifying objective for some samples indeed was was not uh, large enough uh, magnifying large enough okay so this is the reason why I decided ultimately um, to upgrade and add uh, the 60 times um draw objective as well. So this is simply something I wanted to mention. Another thing that I also want to kind of uh, inform you, um, generally if your microscope has a 160 millimeter DIN standard, you know it if there's the, uh, the number 160 printed on the objective, um, it is like this then other 160 millimeter objectives will fit physically, okay? This should not be a problem, but be aware that um, you m they might not be par focal. So this means that you might have to refocus a little bit, okay? So that is the 
the issue um, so otherwise in your ch choice of a 60 times 63 times uh, um, dry objective you can be very yeah, open if, and you can choose pretty much any one as long as it's the 160 standard if this is the standard of your microscope um, then it'll work um, but you might have uh, to refocus a bit uh, so my recommendation is, is, is try first uh, to get maybe an objective of the same series if there is uh, an objective of that magnification okay I simply wants to inform you on that um, in my case it was like this that I um, for a couple of months used indeed um, a uh, dry objective from a different manufacturer um, which was quite low cost and I was really happy and it worked really well no, no, no problem but I had to refocus all the time not a big deal honestly you just know that I have to spin the, the fine focus knob a few times and then it's in focus again it's not a big deal but ultimately then I decided to um, get second hand a uh, from the same series uh, one yeah it's a question of taste and, and convenience actually okay so that's uh, that's pretty much it um, yeah that's my opinion on the issue um, I personally think that for general microscopy observations uh, um, yeah a 60 63 times uh, dry objective is probably in most cases the the highest magnification that you will ever quotation marks need okay um wish you all the best happy micro hunting as always and leave your comments and then yes please i mean support the channel a little bit okay um subscribe to it the more subscriber the channel has uh then it helps it to grow a little bit and more people can also be uh, maybe find the videos and then microscopy it's good for microscopy as a hobby in general if more people also uh, find these videos i wish you all the best have a nice day bye bye